We have a problem. The Earth is too hot. Most of the heat on the Earth's surface comes from the Sun. To lower the Earth's temperature, we need to shade out some of the sunlight. But how do we do this? The answer? We use mylar sheeting. It can be made so thin that scores of layers will still be less than one millimeter thick. The mylar sheeting has to be attached to a very large frame. The lightest kind of frame would use tensegrity mast, invented by R. Buckminster Fuller. It can create spans hundreds of miles long, but weighing mere grams per meter. Tensegrity mast offers the lightest struts known. Tensegrity struts can be any length. A simple machine could be made that would weave tensegrity mast in space. The rods don't have to bear any weight and the cables can be very thin. A fine fishing line could even be used. A simple square of tensegrity mast is created and covered with mylar. Then it's put into space. It reflects sunlight away from the earth. We only need to cool the planet by one or two degrees centigrade to restore the polar ice caps. How much will it cost? I don't know, but it won't be cheap. It might take many such reflectors and the project would be expensive. However, we can't be sure that stopping our carbon emissions would be enough because Mars is also getting warmer. NASA images show that Mars also has extreme global warming. Whether global warming is from a solar cycle, man-made pollution, or a combination of both, we can cool our planet. When the global warming crisis has passed, we can simply dismantle the reflectors. In the meantime, the reflectors would need some maintenance. Micrometeors and solar wind could move them out of alignment or their correct position. But that's what the space shuttle is for. If global warming is even partly due to a long, slow solar event, then it could last a very long time. It might be a good idea to be prepared. Thank you. Please share this with your engineer friends.